Welcome everybody to Extreme Off-Road Silly Bills and today we're dealing with the 1991 Peugeot 205 Rally. Now this has 668 horsepower, 682 pounds-feet of torque from a 2.0-litre turbocharged inline-4 engine and the car itself now weighs 1,658 pounds. Now it has off-road tyres, all-wheel drive and off-road suspension and it can do not 16.339 seconds, not to 105.324 seconds and going to a top speed of 163 miles an hour. So that is quite a low top speed, but I've kept it that uh, at that for two reasons. One, this doesn't weigh very much, and it has a really rather short wheelbase, so it's in, this, in essence to try and keep it from uh, going out of control. So let's see what it can do. Because, yeah, this is two of the worst things that you can really be on this uh, series, to be honest. There's be very little in the way of weight and also be really rather quite small so uh, yeah there are two aspects that can make a car be thrown around a high level lot with the bumps the jumps and uh, yeah plus obviously we're asking a lot out of it in terms of horsepower this is more than six times the power it had originally while actually weighing less as well despite the all-wheel drive system and the bigger engine we have obviously a turbocharger added on top so uh, yeah Asking a lot from this, but hopefully it will be better than the Nissan Pulsar from the previous episode because that was a real disappointment despite having a lot going for it. Obviously this was not over the drive originally, so it doesn't have that over the Pulsar, but yeah. Hopefully the lack of weight won't be a disadvantage and it'll actually be an advantage in terms of providing the, the required handling and as well as obviously helping the car accelerate as quickly as it needs to. wandering around a fair old bit. But it's keeping up a decent pace. Uh, we've not made any major mistakes either yet, so... I just jinxed myself there because we hit a wall. <laughs> Never say I've never made any mistakes, so I immediately make one. Gonna top out at our top speed, which is gonna slow us down a little bit, but we are still nonetheless relentlessly quick. Far quicker than I was ever expecting at 2 minutes 1 second 0.715, which launches us into joint third place with the Porsche 968 Turbo S. And it also means we smashed the Nissan Pulsar from the previous episode, as well as beat the Ford GT40 Mark 1, Ferrari Portofino, Toyota Hilux Arctic Trucks AT38, Porsche 718 RS60, Lamborghini Urus, Aston Martin DB5, DBS Superleggera and the Chevrolet Corvette ZR1 and uh, like the uh, Porsche that we are joint third place in we're slightly behind the Toyota Land Cruiser Arctic Trucks 8037 and the ATS GT but considering this is very little in the way of weight which did truck us around a fair bit and made the car wander around as well never had all-wheel drive originally it's dealing with six times the power it had originally and it's not even got anywhere near as much power as some of the vehicles on this series means that yeah this is an incredible car and uh, yeah another just shows why I l love this car so much it's so versatile in what it can do it can have its stock amount of horsepower and still be uh, really fun to drive and yeah you can also upgrade it like this and it'll be uh, challenging the top of the leaderboard so yeah mightily impressed and it's far far quicker than I was ever expecting to be honest so uh, yeah really really surprised by it uh, but only in a good way quite frankly nonetheless thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.